welcome to another demonstration of the Cameo Data Hub 18.1. At this time, we're going to show you inside of a project how to get to the Data Hub Explorer and then import a CSV file. So, first go to Tools, Data Hub, then click on Data Hub Explorer. Data Hub Explorer window uh, did not change in 18.1. Some buttons moved around. You can see the top where they that you can add a data source. From here, you can click on Browse. Then from there, you'll click on the file you're looking for. And you can use the options. You have the key and the label, uh, and then a copper and separated value. If you use the key, when you type in the name of that key, uh, such as name, ID, requirement, whatever information you put into that particular field, it will then pull from the file and make it uh, what is seen inside the Data Hub Explorer box next to uh, Data Hub and you can see the file that you clicked and you can see the information uh, for this particular CSV is the name of each uh, particular requirement. What we're going to do now is we're going to drag and drop the information uh, from one side to the other uh, we're going to use copy data uh, for this, so it's just a, a complete import uh, of the CSV file uh, within that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, select uh, the copy data, and we're going to highlight all of the particular elements. In this case, these are going to be requirements, uh, and then we're going to just drag and drop them on over into our requirements folder here. Data will uh, allow you to choose any uh, element with inside the tool. Uh, so for this case, we're using SysML, so it's going to pull the UML and SysML meta language, uh, or metadata, excuse me. And what we're going to do is we're going to search for a requirement. Uh, so a, a quick abbreviation of requirement would be REQ, um, and then it'll give us all elements that are related to REQ. Uh, we're going to select, and you can see here that uh, our information from our CSV file matches the SysML uh, language via ID, name, uh, and text. Uh, so for this instance, it's going to already map for us. And once we've completed that, we'll click OK and we'll move forward. And you can see here uh, that all the information is now in MagicDraw and it is complete. So. Uh, there's no differences. They're all equally the same, uh, the same data. Thank you for watching this import of a CSV file.